so I have a part of a haul video for you guys. Um, I decided to bust it up into two. And so this is going to be the book haul. And just take the box away. First, we have Pop Manga. So this has been around for a while, so a lot of you are familiar, I'm sure. Um, super cute book. I already had Cute and Creepy. And finally decided to go ahead and just get this one too. So yeah, I've got the Pop Manga. Next, Spirit Animals, Hannah Carlson. This is my second Hannah book. First one I have is a jewelry box. And again, this one's been around for a little bit. So a lot of you are familiar. My goal is to get all of her books. I can't wait to get her newest book that's coming out. So I am working on collecting all of hers. Then next, I've got this little thing. See, it's a lot smaller than I actually thought it was, but that's totally fine. It is the Posh Coloring Book Inspired by Nature, and I'm not even going to try to say the name because I'm going to slaughter it. I thought this was a really pretty book, different from most that I have with the image for reference if you wanted to use and the different colored line work I finally have something that's got otters in it could have used that a while back with a scavenger hunt I did so it's just a really pretty book I liked um, there were several pictures in here that I noticed that had art referencing things to it. And of course, I can't flip to none of those. Like this with the paint brushes. So that was something else. I like the nature part of it, but that was that appealed to me also to have the some of the pictures with some of the artsy stuff in it. So there's that one, the Posh Coloring Book. I think I might get another one of the Posh books, but this is definitely the one I wanted the most. Then I have a Scott Howden book. I love this cover. Um, this is volume two, and I want to get one and three. And I actually, he just came out with a brand new coloring book on his Etsy store, and it's a PDF only, and I have that, but I can't show it because I don't have it printed yet, but I do have the Scott Howden PDF new book, and it's in grayscale, and it is so pretty. And this one is pretty as well, my favorite image. I kind of wish this one was grayscale, but I'm okay that it's not. So that is a Scott Howden book. And then, of course, I got The Fragile World by Kirby Rosanes. Um, I have a few of his other books. I have the last one, World Within Worlds, and a couple of the others. And I heard that there's already another new book about to come out, and I can't wait for it. I loved this one because, I mean, it's unfortunate that it's filled with endangered animals but I love that he's donating some of the proceeds to help the cause and he just does really awesome work so yeah fragile world and then I got my first misfit book by white stang I went with the unicorn I could just about just cut this cup off the cover and frame this little one all by itself. And so this is my misfit book. 
super cute a little different it's like enough cute and enough odd blended together for my liking so that is the misfits and I'm a huge Christine Karen fan so I have fairies too I have her latest two books so I needed to get going with some of the books she's had out already love that this will be my first major attempt at a a nice water reflection going on so there's the fairies two and then I got the fairies three so now I just need the fairies one but I did not get that one <laughs> um, but I will eventually I think, I don't know, her work is just so pretty. I've really been enjoying coloring in the other two I've had of hers. So that's Fairies 3. And then I got another Christine Karen characters. This is a really fun one too. Again, it's got that grayscale. That'll be fun for Halloween. I've seen this one done a lot recently for some reason. Again, I just, I don't know, her images are so pretty. Love that. So yeah, the Christine Karens. Now, I recently learned about this book. And I'm not sure it's Lisa Mitrochin. Probably didn't pronounce that last name correctly. But I had never heard of her before. And I saw a flip through of this book on another channel. Um, Faithful Girl. I'll have to link her in the description below. And this one, again, it's just it's different. And I definitely like different. I like this one's called Storm. They all have a name to them. And I think that I will probably end up doing my own flip through of this. That's going to be fun. So I will do a flip through of this book all by itself in another video then the fun keeps going I have color and chick book two and I love her work also again I think they're just so super cute and beautiful I would love to see her and Christine Karen do a collab. I think that would put out some really amazing pictures. And then another YouTuber colored this picture and sent it to me, uh, Shelly Art. And so I'll link her in the description also. And I thought, oh wow, but she did a really good job on hers which I will just show it if you get too much of a glare I plan on framing it so I haven't taken it out of the plastic sleeve yet so yeah that's from Shelly Art 
Obviously, she printed hers out. <clears throat> Those are adorable. So that's the color and chick. And I also got another color and chick. This is book one. A little octopus around her neck is adorable. And we just got some more cute and beautiful pictures. Love that with the snake. I have to do that one first. I don't know. So I'm not trying to do full flip throughs. Just give y'all an idea of what's going on in the book. Next I have, I finally got on board and got Forest Girl. A lot thicker than I knew it was going to be. It's very heavy. I was surprised. I was like, okay, which is good. Um, but this is another one that has sort of a reference picture on the one side. I've seen a lot of watercolor work go into this book. And I'm trying to get more into and familiar with wet mediums and so I might be playing around in these books some more with that super cute and so I got the first forest girl and then I got the second forest girl also this one's a bit bigger it's a hardback book which honestly I didn't pay attention to that so now I only need the third book which obviously that's going to happen eventually too must complete the set so again you have the a reference picture and the one you're going to work on Really like this image. Do a lot with it. That's really pretty. I love how she always has her little dog with her. It has antlers. Kind of reminds me of my dog because she has antlers like that like a headband of them that she wears at Christmas time I have pictures of her in them so that makes me think of her my little penny boo so there is the second forest girl and then not coloring book but I also enjoy reading my daughter in loves reading and a fellow YouTuber turned me on to a book series I wasn't familiar with, uh, Shannon Chopin Hayes, which I'll link her in the description below also. And we got Dorothy Must Die, Danielle Page. I got the one and the two. There's a three and a four. And then there's also three other books that are, I guess, I don't know, like short stories that coincide with all of this somehow or something. So I thought I'd get the first two and we would start there. I'll start reading first and then pass it off to my daughter. And then we will be getting the rest and add to the collection because you know, we're going to read them all. So yeah, so that is my book haul. And I do have a few other books that I haven't received yet but they were Etsy purchases and they're coming from further away basically so they're going to take a little longer to get here but when they do get here I will definitely be showing those books also and thanks for watching this video and give it a like subscribe comment 
tell a friend. And until next time, later, y'all.